Hey everyone, this is Nick from Mecca Warehouse, and today we're back with weekly update number 98. Uh, let's kick off with week in review, so we're talk about what's been going on, things that are coming up, stuff like that. And uh, holy hell, <laughs> the last like week and a half has been incredibly intense for me. Tons of stuff going on, not enough help, just people calling out sick and whatever stuff's going on. I'll get into a little more details and all that kind of stuff, but it has probably been one of the most stressful weeks for me personally, and probably for some of the other people around here. We've just had so much going on, and uh, the short week, plus a sale, plus trying to get the next restock ready, and just everything gradually intensifying in terms of amount of stuff going on is just, it's been crazy. Set the dumpster on fire, and then it will be a perfect match for the week. Like, I almost want to, like, pull some of this stuff out and then so it started off with the uh, Q4 order we were working on it this weekend. Kate and I put in some long days Saturday and Sunday. We had uh, my parents take the kids for the weekend. We thought it was going to be for a day. Turned into the whole weekend. Saturday and Sunday were very long days. Like I think we didn't start till like 10 because we were you know up late and slept in a little bit but probably worked to seven maybe even eight some of those days just going through numbers and trying to make our assumptions and looking at data and all that kind of stuff tons of little decisions extremely fatiguing monday was a little bit better we got the kids back and then spent a good part of the day kind of swapping in the hot seat kate doing her part me doing my part going back and forth we got through it uh we got things pretty much ready. We were waiting on August and September confirmations to finish and doing our final pass through. And uh, Tuesday we got word, uh, thankfully, that the order deadline was extended. It probably was extended before the weekend. We didn't know about it. Uh, but in the long run, it's probably better anyway, because we're through the, the hardest part of that order preparation part. Uh, so, and to, to sum that up, I think Kate's words were best. It was better than dying. And that, uh, that's pretty much uh, how it felt. It was, it was rough. It was not ideal. Um, then come into the week after that, we had the Labor Day sale this weekend. So long weekend means even more orders for the day we come in than usual. Sale means even more than that. So we had a really good number of orders coming in on Tuesday, and then we had somebody call out sick on Tuesday, of course. Uh, so it meant we couldn't pack at our full capacity on Tuesday. And we probably had like a full Tuesday and like a half day Wednesday if we were at full capacity for both those days. Uh, that means that we didn't get a full capacity out on Tuesday. Wednesday, they're back in, so we were closer, but we don't usually have as many people in on Wednesday and we didn't have people available that we could call in to kind of reinforce and scale up to what a full full crew would be. Uh, so that may, means Wednesday wasn't a full day, full capacity either, which means going into the, today that I'm filming this Thursday, we still have, I think, uh, maybe a day's worth of orders for one packing station. Fingers crossed that we have enough help today that we can be caught up by the end of the day. Uh, I think it's realistic to, to expect that but it's, uh, it's been tough and I have no idea where, where we'll really be. Uh, I ended up spending a good part of the day Tuesday, not only helping with some of the order packing and all that kind of stuff, but also managing check-in because we had so much stuff left that needed to be uh, checked in for this week's restock. There's a, I think like a half pallet to a pallet worth of stuff, a few different loose items and orders that came in over the last week that could have and probably should have been on this week that just won't happen on this week because of the, the nature of the staffing situation. I wasn't able to get them all checked in. It was uh, rough. I feel like I've been running around with my head cut off or like my head's been cut off. The, uh, the one saving grace though is the interview on Thursday last week did go really well. And we hired someone, Tyler, who uh, he's actually in both Friday, Friday, Tuesday and Wednesday so far uh, when having the extra set of hands has been helpful. Uh, I think we're fortunate in that uh, he seemed like a good candidate. It was not a like, oh, you're in front of us. We know we're going to be busy. We need you to come in. Uh, it was a, a legitimate hire. So that's been helpful. The, the biggest problem staffing wise right now is ultimately 
not just number of bodies. The thing is we need people who are qualified on the packing station and can pack at that full capacity. If it takes, you know, 500 to 1,000 orders of packing to get up to speed, that takes a little while. You can't just turn someone on to being a efficient packer overnight, and you really need to have them pick a little while first. And uh, so hopefully over the next month or two, we'll be able to get more people uh, kind of qualified and capable of packing at that full uh, efficient rate, getting a full, full day's worth of orders out of a packing station. It'll give us more options when somebody calls out sick or uh, you know whatever happens. So that's been my week. Uh, the other news, we did get the display cases arrived. Haven't had a chance to set them up yet, but the display cases for the front of the warehouse are here. So I'm looking forward to the next lull in the action to get those set up. So that's basically it for week in review. Let's move on to pre-orders. Oh, we don't have any pre-orders this week. That's <laughs> So we didn't put a pre-orders this week because we were so busy with the uh, everything else going on. And there's only a few that were prepped and ready to go. So we'll post up some pre-orders next week. Uh, let's move on to restocks. That sounds better. So we'll head over, check out what we got in for restocks this week, and uh, we'll be right back. Restocks, let's start off with master grades and then real grades. First up, we got the full armor unicorn Verka. Uh, I'm not sure how many of these came in. I think someone else checked them in this week, but the... Uh, Big kit, lots of extra weapons and accessories. I, I believe it's got a lot of stuff in the box. Yeah, it even has the ability to use those tanks as the, uh, I think as a base jabber, I think is what that would be called, which is kind of neat. A lot of stuff in the box. I've heard the, the one issue with it is just joints because it's supporting a lot of weight for its size. Uh, we've got a few master grade wing kits. I think these are all top offs, wing verka. We've had this one in stock a little while. Uh, Tall geese, we got a few more of. We've got plenty of these in stock, but it's a great kit. So if you haven't grabbed it yet and you're, you're into any of the Gundam wing stuff, I would definitely consider it. And then the Master Grade Heavy Arms, one of my favorite uh, Gundams and favorite kits all around, especially for the Master Grade, it's a solid kit. Uh, slipped in with the Master Grades is this Full Mechanics Calamity Gundam. I think these came out last year. So full mechanics was 1-100, a little bit simpler than a master grade. I think this is supposed to be a somewhat decent kit. We did not get a ton of these, so they may not last all that long. We did get the master grade G Gundam as well. You're probably waiting for the RG G Gundam or God Gundam to come in. Uh, this might hold you over. This is definitely an older kit, I think. And then the GP-03S, I believe this is also what the dates on here, 2001. So it's an older kit, you can kind of tell from the box art. I don't think we've ever had these ones in stock, and I don't think we have a massive number, so I don't expect these to last super long. Over real grades, real grade Destiny Gundam. It's been a little while since we've had this one, I think. I uh, don't know too much about it myself. RG Titans, this is a top off. We've had these recently. It's supposed to be a solid kit. I'd definitely consider that one if you're into that design. RG New Gundam, I don't think we got a massive number, although I do think we have more on the horizon. One of the most solid kits all around in the, the real grade line, at least, and definitely worth considering. A couple more. I think the RG RX-78 we've had in stock a while. So this is a top off, uh, but definitely worth taking a look. It's a little older though, so if you don't want to deal with early real grade issues, then you might want to skip that one. We also got the real grade Sininju and the real grade Ailstrike. Uh, Sininju is number 22, so this is a relatively new one. Um, I think that's supposed to be a decent kit. I don't know much about the L-Strike. I do know it's number three, so it's an older one. And let's move on to high grades. High grades, we've got a ton of high grades in this batch. Uh, a lot of variety, some we haven't seen before, as well as uh, some that we have. Uh, first up, Girazulu Angelo Sauper use. So this is a Girazulu with some uh, custom stuff. Kind of a pink purple color scheme. Uh, we got an okay number of those. We haven't had them, I think, before at Mecha Warehouse, though. Uh, on that same same note, we did get uh, two versions of the Jagadoga. There's one here. I'll probably find the other one later. This is the... Uh, I'm not sure if it says anywhere in the box. In English, it's not covered up with a sticker, so... We got that one and this one. <laughs> That's what we'll have to do for now, because I don't remember which one's which. Um, didn't get a ton of these, and I don't think we've ever had these before either, so they'll probably disappear. Uh, XM, X1, Crossbone, X1. So a lot of X1s in there. This is uh, Crossbone, Gundam, X1. I don't know that we got a massive amount, maybe a case of those. 
uh, and I don't know if we've had those before either. Uh, HG God Gundam we've definitely had before. So again, if you're, you need to scratch that real grade God Gundam itch or the God Gundam itch before it comes in, that is an option. Uh, Zaku One Sniper, we've had these in and out over the last few years. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a decent kit. Um, HG Alex Gundam, NT1. Uh, not much to say about that. It looks like it does come with the, uh, the Chobo armor though, if you want that gimmick and that, those accessories. Uh, G Armor, we didn't get a massive number of these. This is an older, pretty fairly old kit. Uh, but if you want the G Armor and want to do all that, uh, that kind of stuff with, let's see if there's pictures here, on this side here with your RX-78. I think it comes with an RX-78 based on the pictures, but I'm not 100% sure. It would make sense based on the size of the box. Uh, HG Strike, not a whole lot to say on that one. Uh, HG Gelgu Jaeger, or Jaeger, I guess it's Jaeger, I think, based on the, the writing. Uh, so that one's pretty cool. Uh, high grade Zaku 3. So that's also kind of an older kit, but it looks like a really cool design. Uh, and the GM3, because it's the threes right now. Not as old of a kit, but uh, yeah, gyms always do pretty well. So I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't stay in stock super long. We also got a ton of IBO stuff. So first up, Julieta's Mobile Reagan Lays. Some of these we got good quantities, some of them not as much. I'm not sure off the top of my head which ones are which, uh, but that's one. We got the Hugo. I think this is our first time officially having it. I think I might've had these pre Mecca warehouse when I was uh, going through different suppliers at the time, way back when. So an older kit. We got the Rue. Not sure too much about that design, but I don't think we've had that one before either. Sigrun, I think this is the new release that just came out. I think we got some pre-orders that are probably, probably about to go pack those actually. Those will be going out today. We got uh, McGillis Schwab Grays. I know we've had this one before once or twice in the last maybe six months to a year. Uh, so we got that one. We got the Gusion, big chunky, chunky boy right there. And the uh, Grimgird. I like this design. I don't know much about it but it's very, very sleek. And then finally for IBO, we got the Mobile Armor Hashmal. There's no eye in there, right? Yeah, Hashmal. So um, big kit. I didn't even know that there were HG kits this size for IBO. So I'm learning something new. We definitely didn't get a ton of those. And considering I've never seen one of those before, those will not last. I can almost guarantee it. Uh, we got a top off on the ASC Armored Special Carrier from AmAim, and we also got the Unicorn Gundam Banshee Destroy Mode, if, uh, if you're a Banshee fan. And uh, let's do 30 minute missions and a few other stragglers. So last few things, we got some 30 minute mission stuff. Uh, cannon Bike, uh, EAV Cannon Bike version. So this is like, I think it actually ends up being like a unicycle. I think you really need two of these if you wanna make an actual motorcycle out of it which kind of lame, but uh, is what it is, I guess. At least they're not a big, super expensive kit. Uh, spacecraft version uh, purple. We might've had these ones in stock before. The Cannon Bike, I think, was a pre-order that got canceled before we got them last time. Uh, Air Fighter white version. So this can be used for wings and customization or as its own vehicle. That's a good example right there is it being used as wings on another kit. Uh, and then the attack submarine version, light gray. I think this also could be used as a backpack or built as its own thing in that whole customizable 30 minute missions kind of sense. We also got some more of the Tiasha 30 minute sisters. So if you've been looking for that and we've got those in now, we also got the Gundam Universe Shenlong in. If you're waiting for the high grade Shenlong, those are still a ways out. This may hold you over, may not, but it, remember it is an action figure, not a kit. So if you want something to kind of play with on your desk or something like that and save your model kit for looking like a model and not, uh, not beating it up by tinkering too much with it, then grab one of those. We got uh, whatever this is. What is this, the fire something? We'll have to put fire shadow. We'll have to put it in the thing to make sure. Uh, so we got the normal and the deluxe version. Good luck from the box telling which one is which. Whoops. And uh, but functionally, the difference, the main difference, I believe, is that the deluxe version has a 
a uh, some sort of metal frame that's pre-assembled. So kind of in the line with like a high res or metal build kind of thing. So uh, substantially more expensive, I believe, uh, but should also articulate better and be more durable in the long run. Uh, so we got both of those in. Last two straight up kits, we got the clone troopers. Finally, people have been asking about these forever. Great for customization if you're into Star Wars and the whole clone lore of the different units and all that kind of stuff. Great uh, base for paint if you want to do that kind of stuff. And then one Dragon Ball kit, Super Saiyan, Brawly, full power. Finally, we got some, some uh, builder's parts and a 30 minute missions witchcraft weapon set. So those are definitely not your traditional mecha weapons, but pretty cool stuff. Probably actually fairly good for maybe with a 30 minute sister. Spitball ideas right there. Uh, we got a bunch of these different uh, builder parts sets. So these are basically sprues of things like we got an MS Vernier. These are just thruster bells that could be swapped in for the ones that are on a kit. We've got the MS Thruster, which are just look like air vents or or whatever that could be used. We've got several varieties of hands, um, some Xeon and EFS EFSF. Uh, versions and there's more than that are over here because some of these are just being topped off and then finally the MS cannon looks like uh, some weapons this is like a shoulder mounted cannon some extra weapon accessory parts that might be might be useful for customization so that's it for restocks let's go back and do Q&A so that's those are the restocks for this week let's move on to Q&A so this is the part of the video where I answer questions from you the viewers if you have a question you want answered post it down in the comments below I'll do my best to answer it next week first question from Sean Klingle hopefully the interview goes well question regarding your you mentioning diorama items even though you aren't doing them now would you ever consider ordering on request from the distributor, if a customer was looking for something, they saw a list of what was available. We definitely have in the past, we would consider it right now, I'd say um, probably not just because things have been so hectic and those special request kind of things can eat an outside amount of energy, if that makes sense. Um, in a few weeks when we kind of dig out, we can definitely talk about that. If you let me know what you're looking for. If you send me a, a DM or an email or something, I can keep it on my list and then take a look. It's, uh, it's hard to say. I, if we started getting special requests from lots of people right now, it would bury us and we're, we're not in a place where we want to be more buried than we are, if that makes sense. Um, next up, Plastic Germs question. Which, what part of Mecha Warehouse do you wish would grow further or faster? And then fun question, Voltron or Power Rangers? Okay, so the first part. I don't know that I want any specific piece to grow further or faster. The one thing that would be great is to have the overall volume, if that makes sense. The, the top line, everything grow just a bit more because as we gain scale, it means we can get more help. And a lot of the, the back office stuff, the warehouse stuff, obviously we, we need more help on right now. A lot of the back office stuff, Kate's been absolutely buried with the stuff she does and we really need, uh, she really needs like an assistant or someone to cover some portion of what she does in order to make that all kind of work. But those kind of tasks are like overhead tasks. When you're packing an order, you can assume X amount of dollars worth of packing time goes into an order on average. And that's as you pack more orders, you can pay people for more hours. The back end stuff, there's, you know, X amount of work. It doesn't necessarily increase at the same rate. So adding somebody there can cost a whole lot more and not necessarily translate to more dollars that were coming in justifying that if that makes sense so as we as the business grows we'll be able to add you know another purchasing person or accounting or whatever we need to help out on that end and that's the main thing is just getting the <clears throat> the scale to the point where we have the coverage in all the areas that lets us be a little more comfortable and not having the the peaks of how difficult things get be as high fun question voltron or power rangers Kind of both, it's kind of a cop-out answer maybe, but Voltron, because I'm into the robots thing, uh, I mean, Power Rangers had the Megazord. Power Rangers will always have a special place though because what got me into karate, it was just, the thing I was watching, I just decided I wanted to, to do martial arts as a result. So I guess, I guess ultimately Power Rangers, I guess that's, 
That's what it comes down to. Okay, Nike629, question, do you think they would ever make an anime version for New Mobile Report, Gundam Wing, Endless Waltz, Glory of the Losers, followed by an anime of New Mobile Report, Gundam Wing, Frozen Teardrop? I have no idea, absolutely no idea. Uh, <clears throat> they seem focused on making newer stuff now, it seems like, but I have no idea. I don't really follow anime production stuff in a lot of detail, so I have no idea. I wish I had a better answer than that. Okay, next one, Ublik. Questions, will you be getting the display push brooch set in anytime soon? Yes, everywhere I've seen are sold out and only ones available are on eBay from China in about a one plus month shipping time. So we, we the long answer, we have uh, a display shipment on the way. I believe the push brooch set is on it. It shipped maybe, let's see, what was my estimate on this? I'm expecting it to come in September, October. It's so hard to say how fast it will actually be here. I know it is on the way. It depends on how long it's on the water, how long it's got to sit at the ports, and then how long it takes to get to us here. So hopefully we'll have that sometime this month, if not sometime in October. All right, and then last one, Plastic Crack 305 question, which model kit line outside Gunpla will you consider to be the biggest seller at the moment in the Mecca Warehouse site? Outside of Gunpla. I don't know, it's hard to say. 30 Minute Missions does pretty well at times, it kind of up and down, depending on which kits have been released recently and what's going on there. Um, I, maybe as a, as a group, like things like Frame Arms Girls and a lot of, I'm kind of merging a few different groups together, but a lot of the Frame Arms Girls and the Mikamasume kind of category, the Robot Girls and that kind of stuff seems to be doing pretty well as an area and a lot of the, the newer releases come out for that and sell out pretty fast, partially because of stock limitations, but that's uh, may, maybe that's it. Um, fun question, which Beavis and Butthead movie do you think is more interesting to watch, Do America or Do the Universe? I don't think I have seen either, or at least definitely not in their entirety. I might have seen clips, so I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm not really a Beavis and Butthead fan. Just seen a few clips. I think that's they're kind of funny, but I haven't watched the movies. Uh, so I think that's it for questions. Like I said before, if you have a question you want answered, post it down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer next time. Thank you for watching. See you later.